Dustin Johnson issues. He was amongst the drivers still running. He's got mandatory repairs. James O'Brien has just crashed. Coming out of turn nine, he's out of the race from the top five. That leaves these drivers battling for by the time they get to that section. Now seventh. You see the switch there. Hubert DeWeese and Kevin Santana has worked his way up to the 10th spot despite being off the pace to start the run. Santana decided to start from the pits. It's a question of it's a question of whether that was the right thing to do. Of course, he survived the uh, turn one incident as we see what happened to James O'Brien here way too late in the brakes into turn nine and there was no saving that. But Kevin Santana started from the pits to avoid the trouble on lap one. He did avoid the trouble on lap one but he was also 27th. He had a ton of work to do, and now at the absolute most, he's going to finish 7th in this race. 7th is not a finish you want to have when you're trying to fight for a championship with Takeshi Kita and the gang, but he just has to minimize his losses here to make sure it's it's not ninth instead of 7th. Those could be two valuable points. Running out of cards on the lead lap, down to just 9 currently on the circuit. Now let's question DeWeese. Trying to find a way back around. He originally had spun around. Santana nearly gives him a help around. Instead, Deweese able to get the better run off the corner exit. Deweese not able to peek to the inside, but he's going to be able to get a switch back here into turn seven. A bear just way, way too late. Had to slam on the brakes and not get in the wall. He did a good job of saving it. But that opened the door for Deweese to get by. Now Kevin Santana is going to try and go for a switch back on David A. Bear. He's got the run. We'll see if he decides to dive into the inside into nine. David's not always the driver who gets the most aggressive in the world into the braking zones. If Kevin sends it, I don't think he's going to have a hard time getting by. But he didn't go for the move that time, and A. Bear loses it anyway. Bear hits the wall. Add Hibert to the list of drivers with damage. Seems not mandatory somehow, though, for the 16. He is a lap down as a result. Takeshi Kita was the next car behind Oof. him before the spin, and there's the mandatory damage. He does have to come in. And Takeshi's probably thinking, please, if lap cars are still going to wreck, can you please just not do it directly in front of me? I have a 20-second lead. I don't need any of that shenanigans. But here is David A. Bear losing it, similarly to James O'Brien, very hard into the wall. And that white car coming by was Takeshi Kita, who I'm sure was probably as scared as he's been for the entirety of this race. It's been pretty calm for him, but every time he comes up to a lapped car, his heart rate's definitely going up a little bit.